Welcome to my humble abode, your go-to channel for skincare. I'm not a professional and I don't claim to be one. I am just a girl who is crazy over skincare. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a versus video of one of your favorite questions to me. Tay, skin functional or the ordinary? Today, we're going to be looking at three products from each brand and comparing them. Let's start with exfoliation. So I've got glycolic acid in my hand. One is from Skin Functional and one is from The Ordinary. As you can see, they are incredibly similar in color. Let's start off with Skin Functional. We've got their 6% glycolic tonic, which is 6% glycolic acid. That comes in a toner form. From a formulation perspective, there is 6% glycolic acid in here and lactic acid. These chemically exfoliate your skin to lift off those dead cells and reveal a new you, sister. There's also some antioxidants in here. Magnolia quibus flower extract, polygonum cuspidatum root extract, and witch hazel extract, which is distilled via water and not alcohol. Then there's skin identical ingredients in here. I'm going to just read them out because there's quite a bit. L-arginine, glycerin, histidine, aspartic acid, and on and on. And then the usual faves, which are allantoin, butylene glycol, betaine, and caprodyl glycol, which will help keep your skin moisturized through the whole exfoliation process. Okay, so now that we know what's going on in Skin Functional, let's have a look at The Ordinary. Once again, this is glycolic acid, also in a toner form. The exfoliant here is 7% glycolic acid. There's also antioxidants here. Panax Ginseng Root Extract. Oh my god, that is one of my favorite underrated anti-aging plant gems. There's also Tasmania Lancelata Leaf Extract. This is known to relieve itching and burning. And then there's some soothing antioxidants in here, and I'm going to have to read this name. Canturia Cayanus Flower and Aloe Leaf Water. Then there's also skin identical ingredients. Glycerin, aspartic acid, alanine, glycine, and a few thousand more. These skin identical ingredients make sure that your skin's natural moisturization factor is attended to by keeping your skin moisturized. So these two are very similar from a formulation perspective. In terms of the main themes that you're seeing, one has 6% glycolic, the other one has 7% glycolic. They both have antioxidants. They both have a ton of skin identical ingredients. So I'm pretty indifferent in terms of formula. So the next thing we'll have to look at is price. And unfortunately, the ordinary is going to have to lose out because it does need to be imported because it's not made in South Africa, which just makes it so much more expensive from a reseller. Whereas we can get this right here at home and it is very cheap. I think this retails for 250 Rand. Unless you just have a thing where, you know, you've got gang Mandela's and you're just like, I have to have an international brand for my skincare. Um, opting for skin functional over the ordinary will most likely give you the same results as the ordinary but actually help you save on your mali 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 those mandelas of yours okay so next we're looking at ascorbic acid which is your vitamin c's so keep in mind that these two are not a direct comparison because they're not as similar as was the glycolic tonic all right let's start with skin functional super duper simple ingredient list there's propanadol in there which is going to give you moisturization 10 percent ascorbic acid which is what you're looking for that's your vitamin c three percent furlic acid and furlic acid is such a good stabilizer to ascorbic acid it actually stabilizes ascorbic acid by 95 percent and when i say it stabilizes ascorbic acid can be known to be unstable when exposed to light and air and it therefore oxidizes really easily which leaves it far more ineffective on your skin. And then there's an antioxidant in here and I'm just gonna have to read the name. Autocarpus Lacucha Wood Extract. Which by the way, vitamin C and antioxidants together are really, really good because the antioxidants also help stabilize that vitamin C. Okay, so that's the formula for 
skin functional, 10% ascorbic acid. Next, let's look at the ordinary. So the ordinary has 8% ascorbic acid plus 2% alpha arbutin. And the ingredients in here are also super simple. There's propanadol in here. And just like skin functional, that's going to help with moisturization. There's 8% ascorbic acid in here and 2% alpha arbutin. So the alpha arbutin is known for skin brightening, just like vitamin C, as well as addressing hyperpigmentation. The ingredients in here just really make this a solid dark spot serum corrector to me. I have to show you guys this though. So this is skin functional. As you can see, this vitamin C has already started to oxidize, but that's okay because I think that this is reaching like a year now. Um, so that's acceptable. I just want to show you guys something. So this is skin functional. This is the ordinary. You can see that the ordinary has not oxidized and I've also got it. But I've got the ordinary for less than like six months. So this is skin functional. And it absorbs really nicely and easily. This, this is the ordinary. And it's almost like it sits on the top of my skin. Like my, it doesn't absorb into my skin that well. Can you see? Um, look at that. Can you, Compared to this side here, which is skin functional, that's just gone into my skin. Because the ordinary side is just so much more greasy, and it basically just sits on my skin and it struggles to absorb into my skin and struggles to penetrate into my skin. Skin functional definitely wins for me in these two. And then finally, we are going to be looking at the peptides. So I've only got the ordinary buffet plus copper peptide 1% here with me. I wasn't able to get my hands on the skin functional to give it from an experience point of view so we're going to discuss it from a formulation point of view so first of all for both of the brands the peptide is one of the most expensive products that they sell let's start off with skin functional so the type of peptides in here and i'm gonna have to read pentapeptide 18 and these target your expression wrinkles an in vivo test was done by the manufacturer which is basically just test on people. And it showed that after 28 days of use of that ingredient, the average wrinkles were reduced by 25%. Then there is acetyl hexapeptide 8. And the manufacturer calls it Botox in a jar because it also addresses your expression wrinkles. Then there's palmitoyl tripeptide. 1, 7, and 38. And these basically stimulate your collagen, reduces the production of the signal molecule, which means less inflammation, which means a slow degradation of your collagen. And it also improves hydration, the appearance of wrinkles, those expression wrinkles which you get on your forehead, as well as crow's feet. Then there's palmitoyl oligopeptide. This will improve the firmness and your skin tone. And then of course there is copper tripeptide 1 at 1%. And this improves elasticity, clarity, firmness, and reduces lines and wrinkles. There's also GABA in here. And GABA is also one of my really favorite ingredients. It helps to improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and also assists in collagen production. Skin identical ingredients in here, of course, there is glycerin, sodium hyaluronic cross polymer. Ooh, those are one of my favorites, especially because, you know, I'm a dry skin baby. Cross polymer, it has five times more water binding capacity than the hyaluronic acid that everybody loves. So it gives your skin a real plumpy look through long-term moisturization benefits and you know a plumpy look is a more youthful look okay so that is skin functional you guys can understand why the peptides are so expensive because it has got some damn gems in there now let's move along to the ordinary so the peptides in here are almost identical as the peptides we've seen in Skin Functional. So I'm just going to name them. If they are new peptides, I will say so and I will tell you what they do. There is acetyl hexapeptide 8, the pentapeptide 18, there's once again palmitoyl tripeptide 1, 7 and 38. And there's copper tripeptide 1 
in one percent as well so all of those are identical to all of the peptides that we just discussed in the skin functional product there are two other peptides in here and it is too long and hard to pronounce so i'm just going to put it down here so that is also a botox in a jar type of peptide it is meant to smooth out wrinkles that was caused by facial expressions which are also your laughter lines or crow's feet there's another peptide in here that i can't pronounce and that just treats sagginess and unfirmness in mature skin there are skin identical ingredients and there are a ton of skin identical ingredients in here let me name a few for you glycerin we're seeing the sodium hyaluronate cross polymer come up here as well. Sodium hyaluronate, glycine, alanine, serine, valine, and 10 other skin identical ingredients that I did not mention. So the peptides in here are basically super, super similar. The most important thing is the copper tripeptide because that is the star peptide in both these and they both are in one percent so once again for me from a formulation perspective they are both absolutely stunning and very very similar so i would be indifferent it once again will come down to cost um i just want to show you though how cool this looks this is from the ordinary and how cool is this? Like that blue is just so cool. It obviously doesn't stain your skin or anything like that. But I have just been enjoying this so very much. It has made such a stunning difference to my skin. And when this is finished, I'm definitely going to jump onto the Skin Functionals one. Because like I said, from a formula perspective, I feel very indifferent. They both have very similar peptides and they have 1% of the copper peptide. So from these products and their comparisons, what you can actually see, it really is up to you to decide what you want. Obviously for me, I like to save my Mandela's because they don't come by that easily. So I would obviously opt for the skin functional because from a formulation perspective, you know, they really are very, very similar. And I love to support homegrown, but if you are into the ordinary and that's what you like, then girl, that is your preference. But if you can't get your hands on The Ordinary, I definitely suggest that you get your hands on The Skin Functional because I've shown you how incredibly similar those formulations are. Also, there's one more thing. I do have a discount code with Skin Functional. If you use Tati15, you can get 15% off your entire cart. I make no commission off this. This is solely to help you out because you know that I am so compassionate about saving those Mandela's but still having amazing, great skin. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It will really help with the algorithm and my videos getting seen and I would appreciate that incredibly. And I mean, if you've gotten this far, then you might as well subscribe to my channel. It's always such a fabulous time with you and I hope that wherever you are, you are well and that you're making great decisions and I can't wait to see you again.